Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shanae, if you're new here, and I'm the creator behind Original Flavor. This is the place to be if you like luxury fashion, style, beauty, and a little sprinkle of lifestyle and travel. Welcome! So I know a lot of people have been doing videos on their most used and least used, best luxury purchases, worst luxury purchases. I'm going to do something that I think, you know, would be very helpful, something I've been meaning to do for a while. I want to talk about my most used product, luxury product of 2021, and it's actually something I purchased in 2020, but still is a very popular and hard to get item because for the reason I'm going to explain to you, it is that girl. So let's talk about it. My most used luxury product of 2021 is... My Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. I love this bag. So, a little backstory. I got this bag in 2020, I think May 2020. It was like as soon as we were allowed during that year to finally go in store for, for products. It was something I thought about like pretty much since I first saw it in February of 2020. And I was obsessed. I'm so happy I got it. Originally, I wanted the pink color band. But they only had the green in stock, the, the, the location that I went to. So I was like, okay. Plus, I also figured green wouldn't look as worn after a while. It would be you know, easier to keep clean and bright. So I went with the green. And I have used this bag consistently, nonstop, all the damn time. If you're looking for a luxury bag that's super casual and is super versatile, I think that this is a really great choice. Okay guys, so what exactly is the multi pochette accessoire? I'm sure you guys already know this, but for those of you guys who don't, pretty much it's four, well, three SLGs that are connected to this really cool um, LV band. They call it a bandolier, I think. It's one coin purse. It's one mini pochette with a gold chain. And a regular pochette accessoire all put together in this really cool trendy contraption. The first time I saw it I thought it was literally the coolest thing I've seen. Like I told you guys when the stores opened up in 2020 I bought it in May 2020 so when the stores first opened up like that first weekend I went to the store and I purchased it and I never looked back. I got really really lucky because first I called the Soho store in New York City and they had a waiting list of 200 people and I got really smart and this is a little trick for you guys if you're looking for an item, a luxury item that sold out in all the boutiques, try going to the Bloomingdale's, the Saks, and Neiman Marcus's, the Bloom, the Berghoff's because usually at the bigger ones like in New York City or wherever you are, typically they will have luxury stores inside and people do not check for them and sometimes their inventory is not always accessible to the um, the client advisors when you call on the phone. So that's something to take into account. So that's exactly what I did. I called the Blue Vuitton at Bloomingdale's and White Plains. So yes, those of you who are from New York City are not really from New York City. White Plains sounds like it's really far, but it's really not. I'm from the Bronx, so Westchester is definitely not a stranger to me. So I called and they actually had one in. So I ran there, I went there, and I picked up my bag. Originally, I wanted the the multi pochette accessoire that had the pink. However, practicality and plus just what was available led me to the green and I love it. It's very versatile in my wardrobe. It goes with many, 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 many things. Um, so when I purchased my bag, it was 1800 and this is May 2020 once again. Now currently it retails for this, it retails for 2,360 US dollars. That's before taxes. So it definitely went up in price. I did the calculations and I'm looking at my notes. I did my calculations and that's about a 31% increase in about a year and a half, which is a lot, definitely a lot. So I'm super happy that I got it when I did. So now what some of you guys may be wondering, is it still worth it to buy it at the higher price point? I would 100% say yes. And some of the reasons why I think it's still a great, a great, um, a great purchase if you're looking for a casual bag or a bag that also can be transformed into, you know, going out or different activities. 
I think the Multiple Shut Accessoire is a great choice for you. When I added up all the prices of the different SLGs that come with the Multiple Shut Accessoire, it actually came out to more than just buying the Multiple Shut Accessoire. So you're saving money. For example, the pochette is currently at $1,050, which is actually a lot for a little tiny bag that's canvas that doesn't have a lot of to it. So that's that. The bandolier, the actual band for the multiple shot accessoire, retails at $935. And it comes with the coin, that's with the coin purse. So it comes together. For some reason, at the on the website, I couldn't find the coin purse by itself, so you would have to get them together as far as things are on the website currently. And the mini pochette retails for $540, which isn't bad because for an SLG and it comes with a chain, you actually can do a lot with this. It's a nice little like going out bag, something quick for casual every day, just to go to the supermarket type of situation or whatever your everyday activities include, I think it'll, it will fit your essentials. It definitely will, despite being a mini pochette. So you get all of those SLGs. So like I said, you get that for, if you bought them separately, it would be $2,525 US dollars. However, if you buy the multi pochette accessoire, you would get everything for the $2,360, which is a savings of $165. Yes, for some of you guys that are big rollers, there may not be a lot of money, but for those of us that like to save and to get the most out of our dollars, $165 is great. Also, to, something to take into account if you want to buy them separately, that you might not be able to get all of them at once. Right now, the canvas pieces for Louis Vuitton are super limited and really hard to get. They're increasing the prices like crazy, and I think they're also making limited stock of those items. So if you wanted to purchase all of them separately, it might take a while for you to be able to get all the pieces to put together your own multi pochette accessoire. Something to take into account. Another reason why I think it's a really great bag is its versatility. So this is the bag that I bring with me on all my vacations. The reason why I bring it with me for all my vacations is that it's really easy to use and accessible because of all the compartments when you're in the airport. And also because it's wrapped around you, usually I get away with it not counting as an actual bag or a personal item then when I actually get to my destination I am able to break down the bag so I don't have to carry it with the strap I'm able if I'm going out or if I'm going an excursion or just doing some sightseeing I'm able to take apart the pieces or wear it with the the bandolier I get to you know I have options so it's a like a one and done type of piece so when you go for travel you can wear it for the airport you can wear it around your destination the canvas is pretty, I would, I think it's pretty, you know, complements a lot of different pieces. It's like, it's almost like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, it's a kind of like a neutral piece because of, because of the way the design of the canvas is, the monogram, it definitely goes with a lot of things, especially for like a more beachy tropical vacation, or even if it, it's like another type of vacation, I definitely think it will complement many of your outfits. So you don't have to pack a whole bunch of different bags. The other reason why I think it's a really great option to still purchase is its durability. As we all know, Louis Vuitton canvas can go through the mud, it can go through the ringer, and it will still look great. That's one of the reasons why I like it. It's one of the bags that I don't get nervous about keeping it anywhere because, I mean, it's what, what really can go wrong with your canvas. Unless someone's like chewing on it or stomping on it, it's going to, it's going to hold up. The only pieces on there that kind of worry me a little bit is sometimes the hardware. I definitely have seen some scratches on it, especially the pieces where the metal connects. However, that's to be expected and it's not very noticeable. And also, of course, the canvas, the vachetta, I'm sorry. Um, the vachetta, as we all know, Louis Vuitton can be a little finicky. It can be a little easy to mess up. However, there's very limited amounts of it on the bag. It's just on these parts where the bounded layer connects and in the front of the pochettes. So there's not much of it. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I just think it's an overall really, 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 really great bag. It's the one I grab to the most whenever I'm um, going out for errands, if I'm going shopping, if I'm going to the supermarket, if I'm going to go to the doctor. It's just, I don't know, I just really feel like it's great. It definitely makes all my looks look so much cooler, whether it's sweatpants, whether it's jeans with a top and like a puffer jacket, whatever the case may be, it definitely like just amps up your outfit just that much. 
While I'm talking about all this, I will be sure to include clips of the ways that I have styled this bag because I have styled it many different ways because like I said, it's such a versatile piece. It's such a cool piece. And I know a lot of people have kind of erred against getting it because it's trendy. I honestly do feel like because you are able to break it down and just use the SLGs as they are, you don't have to wear the strap if it becomes out of style. However, to me, I don't see myself not grabbing for this bag or not using this bag and because I feel like it's very functional for my lifestyle. And like I said, I like the style of it because I like edgier things. So I definitely 100%, a million percent actually, think that the Multipisha Accessoire is still worth getting if you're able to get your hands on it. I know it's super hard to get right now, like we all said. So definitely try the option I said. Try checking out or contacting the Louis Vuitton stores inside of your actual department stores because they might have it because people don't be checking for them. Definitely do that. A couple other details about the bag. Right now, um, so like I said, it comes in, the one I have is the one that's in the LV monogram. There is several other options you can get if you're interested in this bag that are not this one. They do have the all leather versions of the multi pochette. Um, they have the multi pochette. It has like the black and the cream color. They have that option. They have the maxi multi pochette accessoire. I think that's the puffy version. I wouldn't recommend getting that. Don't don't waste your time or money unless you got it like that and you can go do that. But for those of us that are that are mindful or working with more limited budgets, I wouldn't suggest that. They, like I said, they have the one that's just plain colored, so it's all leather, so you don't get the bandolier strap, you can buy that separate, but all of that would be a totally different price. I think the leather is really, really nice. It comes in an imprint leather, leather, and a cream and black color. They have a Louis Vuitton New Wave Multi Pochette. That's an option. It comes in black and gold, and it's all leather, and if you think about it, the multi is retailing for $2,360 and some of these options are all leather. So if you're somebody who's more of a leather person versus a canvas, these are some amazing options. And then there was one other bag. Okay, so my camera, well my memory card was full so I'm not sure where I left off at. But I was thinking I was showing you guys the different options, all the alternatives from the Louis Vuitton that are, are the multi pochette. So you have the utility crossbody. Which, you know, I actually think that looks kind of cool. I just don't like how the coin purse looks. Like, it looks a little weird. Guys, so those are definitely worth looking at. However, in my opinion, I still think, maybe I'm biased because I own this one. I still think that the original multi pochette accessoire in the canvas is the best option. Let me know if you guys want to see more individual bag reviews, talk throughs, um, what fits in my bag videos. Definitely let me know. I'm working on... What I'm working on for this year for my channel is sharing not only things that I'm getting or unboxing things or hauls, those are all fun, but I also want to really, really, really touch on how you can wear things, how you could use things, coming back and doing a full review. I don't like to do reviews as you're unboxing it because you need to wear it and actually like try it out and see how it works within your life to actually know about it or actually review it. So that's something I'm looking forward to doing with lots of my bags because I have, I have like Compared to other luxury influencers, my collection's small, but to the ever, everyday person, I actually have a little, a little, a little collection going on. So definitely stay tuned. Make sure if you aren't already that you're following me on Instagram. That's where I post most frequently, and that's where you'll see a lot of the items styled daily. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on the video. Turn on your notifications. Thank you guys for spending some time with me, and I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Bye.